Hi hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to get stuck back into the forest now. Pulling the GT35 off it, so no longer compound turbo until get a bit of welder, bit of material, bit of wastegate, and I improve my welding skills. So we can do reverse mount um, intake, so all the intercooled piping. So I haven't welded aluminium before, um, get a better up pipe from the low mount turbo to the high mount turbo and better dump and we'll have flex joints and whatnot in that um, yeah back to just the TDO 5 um, not sure if I'll run front mount or top mount I think I've still got top mount I mean here just the stock one and yeah run the um, original bonnet um, <coughs> maybe I'll stick to front mount because the uh, original bonnet needs painting alright okay, guys it is Sunday so there's a bit, of, a bit of noise around from the kids in the neighbourhood but continue this on Monday so it's coming off exhaust is changing, wastegate's coming off I'm not sure if I should take the intake off and get the in silicon intake on or just leave it routed like that if I leave it routed like that then and neighbors like we're moving soon sorry about that guys I'm gonna have to continue this tomorrow when there's no kids around and they're at school this is can't put this up but audio in it Music in it. Hey guys, it's a Monday and instead of the kids, the dog's barking. Alright. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this. Ooh. Hmm. Exhaust leak. To a snake. Oh, did you hear that? Hey, Azzy. Hey. Let me come here. Say hi. 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 You cutie. What's wrong with your nose? Hey, hey. All right. So, this is Azzy. Picked her up. Um, new place. I believe the garage is in the backyard, so you see a lot more of Azzy getting around while I'm working. Hey guys, looks like I'm not really getting much going. Good of the day. I might have to do this stuff at night time after work. Anyway. <clears throat> See you at night Alright guys, I am back. It's about 9.30. Yeah, 10 past 9. Um, I took the dog to the vet today. I remember getting out of the Skyline. He stood on the hazard lights. The hazard lights were on for about 3 hours. So now I have a flat battery. So we need to get that started tonight, so we can drive the car tomorrow. Alright, how am I going to do this? I'll test the battery in the forest to see what that's at. It's not actually connected. Oh, the battery's at 11.7, so... 
not enough. Might be, might be enough. Just to get that cranking. is flat as well. Alright, got it going. Go for a bit of a drive. A bit of a night drive. So, my video comes out tomorrow about what I should do with this, so I'm just going to hang on till that comes out and I get some replies from you guys. That boys went for about a 15, 20 minute drive. Got her backed in, so can jump side her off the treasure if I need to and I can roll this back and jump start that if I need to so yeah like I said before I'm gonna wait until I get some replies from you guys before I decide what I'm doing near the Forester so that'll be in this episode guys so right now Tuesday it's Monday night you'll be seeing it Tuesday morning <clears throat> is what I'm going to be doing. So this one will be coming in on Thursday. Hey guys, it's the next day. It's been raining a little bit. And I just went to pick apart after I dropped Marley off at school. I got a GT Forester a luxury version. Heated seats, you know. You know the deal. Sunroof. <coughs> just looking at the engine bay. <coughs> and if I want to daily drive this. Um, the missus would want AC backing up. I think I've still got everything over there somewhere. But I'm going to put this back to single turbo, guys. Um, still contemplating doing top mount. Actually, it's got a built engine. I'll keep front mount. I will eventually work out a bit of intercooler piping. But yeah, get the GT35 off, eventually get some AC back in it, so that means catch can has to move, because the lines are there. Alrighty, let's get this GT35 off. Good thing about it is, it's just before the turbo that's going to stay there, so it'll still work. If I just take that off, I think I've still got the stock dump pipe as well. Yep, here it is. So we've got a cat in there, I believe. And a couple of little turbos over there too. So the battery on this turbo is not lasting much anymore. It was on charge overnight and I've already got nothing, so... Always going to be plugged in. I think I do have another battery somewhere, but I don't have the screen on the back. I don't know why I'm trying to record the back. Anyways. Let's do it. Also, guys, being just at the breakers, I found a filler neck for the oil. So, either get the AC back on, reverse mount that, and Get some piping going that way, so then we can get the filler neck on properly, and that will shorten the uh, intercool piping as well. <coughs> I think it look pretty empty if there's nothing up the back though. Hmm. Anyway. Let's get this big sucker off. 
also boys by the end of this episode we'll um, find out the gender of our new baby on the way if you're interested I'll put it at the very end but um yeah do it sorry about the lighting too well, it comes up alright on, on the camera but it's a bit dark just to get this on just to move it that's why it wasn't on properly. Yeah, it's just too many leaks in this compound setup at the moment, so... I'm gonna get better at welding. <coughs> and, uh, yeah. I'll make it work. One day, guys. I know there's probably a few people that have already done this now. I've been on this for years. Yeah. That's fun while it lasted, guys. I need to bring my tools over. Alright, I got the intercooler piping off. This is section here, yeah, makes it a bit easier. <coughs> That's popped up there anyway. <laughs> oh dear, look at that. It's got a bit of oil. That would have to be coming through because there's nothing on the intake side that'll bring in oil. <sighs> That's boost gauge. I'll um put a label on. Okay, so <coughs> oil feed. Alright. That is tapped into the block, so <laughs> all of this is going to have to come off, or even the manifold. Next up, I'll get the screen mark off. I don't know if you can see that. But, once again, that's better. Exhaust leak on the wastegate. Also, guys, if you're new to the channel, it used to be called Puds Garage. It's my nickname. Not garage, hood. Like a pudding. Exhaust needs to come off next. So that's uh, getting under the car. We need to jack it up. It's time to rain, boys. Hi guys, car's checked out. Um, exhaust is disconnected from the bottom. It's got to undo the O2 sensor and the V-band and we should be able to get it out.
Ooh, look at that. Put her up in. Here we go, boys. It's the first time I've used it. Look how bad the leak is. Alright, guys. What I've seen a few people do is with these Chinese cheap turbos, eBay turbos, this um, 3 inch flange isn't the same as. A normal three inch flange so what they do is actually weld on the other half of a normal three three inch flange so then you can actually um clamp it down properly because yeah i've always had issues with it no i could have gone the bolt pattern i should have gone the bolt pattern but anyways um we'll snake this out from underneath and uh We'll get the GT35 off. Alright boys. There she is. She's out. Hey boys. Let's have a look at all the things I did wrong here. First of all, no flex joint. Rubbing here. And here. Let's see if it was rubbing anywhere else. Turn it. A bit there. Okay. She needs a tune. You spotted, look at all the oil spots under the car. And these bolts here are all rusted. Right. I'm not going to touch them. Well, that's actually really bad. Once again, when I get uh, better at welding, I might do my own manifold. Alright boys, next up for the turbo, we'll do oil drain from the sump. So, we get a drain pan. Check it under, take it off, and plug it up. Right, boys. There she is. That 90 degrees. And take that off. Check it under. Put it over there. So we've got some angle on the hose coming down from the turbo. Yeah, it shouldn't be coming out of um, the sump here. There. There we go. She's draining. Some cable tied up there, so won't hang down all the way. Let's see if I can scoop my leg around, get it where it naturally wants to go. Right. Yeah, gotta get this off and put the plug in. Gotta find the plug. So just getting that fitting out. <laughs> That's where the level of the uh, oil was. It got me. It's not much, but they got me. Hi, right, boys. Found the plug. Clean it up. Get some RTV on it. So chuck it back in. After this oil stops draining. All right, guys. The plug is in. Still draining a little bit. I'm gonna cut the cable tie that's holding it up. So it'll drain a little bit more. Then we'll move on to oil feed. Alright guys, just got the oil feed off, as you can probably see, just over the strut tower there. Um, last thing to take off uh, is the water. So we're going to probably make a little bit of a mess. Um, so. Okay. 
protect the world lines. I'll just loosen them up, I'll just crack them a little bit. And uh, I'll get the bolts off for the uh, P3 flange. And we can quickly get the, the water off. Another lovely day in Melbourne. It's finally off. A little bit of coolant spillage. All right. Get the wastegate off. Didn't really need to, but I will. What do you think, boys? Does it suit her? I think it does. So, I just pulled the eBay race gate off a few weeks ago. I mentioned that it was leaking, but the seal on it's good. I think it was either the plunger was leaking and then it was leaking out of here, or maybe even pre waste gate from my bad welding. Here we go boys, got it off. Looks like shit, there's a leak there. It's a stud. I'll make one better next time. Alright boys. Now that all the exhaust stuff is off, I'm going to put the stock dump pipe back on. Alright guys, the dump pipe is fully tightened up. O2 sensor in the back is hooked up as well. I'm going to head off to the hospital. Um, like I said before, I'm finding out the gender today. Alright guys, if you like this content of me working on cars, <laughs> I think that's why you're here. Um, Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and give me a thumbs up. Catch you next episode. Bye. Hi right, boys, just got back from the hospital and we are having a boy.